Let's see how to install Visual Studio Code and set it up for C++ development on Windows 11. First, we're going to download the compiler. So let's open the web browser and let's head over to winlibs.com. Here we can download Ming GW for Windows. So let's scroll down a bit and I'll go with the latest version, but without all of the additional tools, so without these ones. So this is what I'm going to download and make sure that you go with the Win64 version and not with the Win32. So it's the second line and let's click here to download the zip archive. Okay, so the zip file was downloaded. Let's now open the downloads folder to see it. And here it is. So let's extract the contents of this archive. So let's right click on it and choose extract all. I'll uncheck this box and extract. And it contains quite a lot of files, so it's going to take a few minutes. Okay, so the contents were extracted and we now have everything in this folder. Now, I don't want Ming GW to be inside my downloads folder, so I'm going to move it directly to the C drive. So let's cut it from here and move it to the C drive. The next thing is going to be adding Ming GW to the system's path. So let's start the Windows Start menu and look for Environment. And we need to click where it says Edit the System Environment Variables. And it opens this menu, System Properties, and here we need to click again on Environment Variables. And at the top we have the User Variables and at the bottom the System Variables. Both of them contain the path variable and in most cases it doesn't really matter which one you change, this one requires less privileges. So let's edit the path variable and we want to add a new entry to the system's path. And now let's get back to the Ming GW directory. And here we have the bin subfolder. Let's open it. And that's the folder we want to add to the system's path. So let's copy the directory's path from the address line. And let's get back to our path environment variable. So let's click on new and paste it as the new entry. So this is done. Let's click on OK. OK again. And once more. To make sure that we now have system wide access to the C compiler, let's open the Windows terminal. And let's run G dash dash version. And we got some specific version, which means that we now have access to G++, which is the C++ compiler we just downloaded. Let's close the Windows terminal. The next step is going to be installing Visual Studio Code. So let's open the web browser again. And let's now head over to code.visualstudio.com. And let's download for Windows. And Visual Studio Code is being downloaded. Okay, so the installer was downloaded. Let's run it from the Downloads folder. And let's accept the agreement. I'll go with the default installation folder. And here I leave everything with its default settings and just click on Next. And let's install Visual Studio Code. Great, so it was installed, let's launch it. Now inside Visual Studio Code, let's open the Extensions tab and let's look for C++. We're going to download the first two options by Microsoft. So C, C++, this one, and then C, C++ Extension Pack. This is also by Microsoft. Let's start with this one. Okay, this was installed. Let's continue to the second one, C, C++ Extension Pack. And let's install it as well. Great, so both of the extensions were installed. 
Let's now open a folder that will serve as a workspace. So file, and then open folder. And I'm going to create a new folder for my C++ project. And let's select this folder. Let's close the get started window. And let's now create a new C++ source file. I call it main.cpp. And let's write a simple C++ program. Okay, our program is ready. Let's save it by Ctrl S. And let's now try to run it. Here we have the play button. But as you can see, it has a small icon of a bug next to it. This is for debugging. First, I want to just run my program. So I'll click on the small arrow next to it and choose run C++ C++ file. Now, since our compiler is included in the system's path, it was recognized by Visual Studio Code. The MingGW bin folder had a few executable options, but we're going to go with the first one, g++.exe. So let's choose it. And our program is being compiled, and then it will be also run. We need to switch to the terminal tab. And here we can see our program. So we need to enter a name. And we can see the expected result. If we would like to debug the program and not just run it, we could always add a breakpoint, like so. And then instead of running the program, we could debug it. 